वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल स्टूडेंट्स आई एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आफ्टर शॉर्ट समर ब्रेक आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन टूडे आई विल स्टार्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री दट इज ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री टोटल ट्वेंटी एट मार्क्स क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इन योर बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन सो first of all we have to see how many chapters are involved in 12th class organic chemistry and their distribution of marks in board examination so your topics are for organic chemistry the first topic is halo alkanes and halo arenes the second topic alcohols phenols and ethers third one slightly lengthy aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids your fourth topic compounds containing nitrogen that is amines diazo salt it is are involved in your fourth lesson all four lessons are the part of pure organic chemistry the next one the fifth lesson is biomolecules the sixth lesson is said to be polymers and the last one that is said to be chemistry in everyday life fifth to seventh lesson are related to biology some biological terms are involved in such topics so this is said to be general organic chemistry and 1 to 4 are called what pure organic chemistry four marks questions will be asked in your board examination in halo alkanes and halo arenes again four marks questions will be asked Elation, alcohols, phenol, and ethers. Six marks questions will be asked in aldehyde, ketones, and carboxylic acid. Again, four marks questions will be asked compound containing nitrogen, that is amines and diazonium salt. Biomolecules. in biomolecules four marks are involved polymers three marks again chemistry in everyday life three marks so in general organic chemistry total 10 marks and if you consider lesson first to seven total 28 marks 
questions will be asked for your CBSE board examination. Lesson first to fourth is totally based upon your 11th class organic chemistry syllabus. And for understanding first to fourth lesson, first you know the nomenclature of organic compounds, second one isomerase, and the third vital lesson is known as reaction mechanism. So in nutshell we can say what? Ki if you have a knowledge for nomenclature, isomerase, reaction mechanism, then you can understand all such lessons very smoothly. So today, first of all, we have to start our first lesson of organic chemistry that is haloalkanes and haloarenes. This lesson is also based upon your previous lesson that is hydrocarbon you have already learned in 11th class chemistry. So today I will start our first lesson that is haloalkanes and haloarenes. You know very well two types of hydrocarbons are well known. The first one is known as aliphatic hydrocarbon and the second one called aromatic hydrocarbons. What are hydrocarbons? Carbon and hydrogen containing compounds are known as hydrocarbons. So in your lesson, the heading is Haloalkanes and Haloarenes. You know very well, X group is said to be what? Halogen group. Halogen group. In halogen group, generally we consider what? Fullerene, choline, bromine, and iodine. The most common Cl and Br. But you can also use fullerene and iodine. The commonly cell group is called what? Halogen group. If we consider aliphatic hydrocarbon, And one hydrogen atom is replaced by any halogen atom, a new compound becomes formed known as what? Haloalkane. So we can say what? When hydrogen of aliphatic hydrocarbon is replaced by halogen group, a new compound become formed known as what? Haloalkane. The other name of haloalkane is what? Alkyl halide. Similarly, if we consider aromatic hydrocarbon, If one hydrogen atom is replaced by any halogen atom, again a new compound becomes formed 
नोन एज वॉट हेलो एनी द न्यू नेम ऑफ हेलो रिंग इज वॉट एवाइल हेलाइट सो यू कैन से द न्यू नेम ऑफ हेलो रिकेन इज अलकाइल हेलाइट and for halorin is called what aryl what is aromatic hydrocarbon such compounds which satisfy the general condition for aromaticity known as what aromatic hydrocarbons so two types of compounds are well known that is halolkenes and the second one called what halorins so we can write what the replacement of hydrogen atom or you can say atoms in hydrocarbon aliphatic or aromatic by halogen atom or you can say atoms results in the formation of halo alkene or you can say alkyl halide and halo arene or you can say aryl halide respectively in the new concept you can again say what if you can carbon atom linked with halogen and this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized so sp3 hybridized carbon atom when linked with halogen atom then it form a compound known as what haloalkene similarly when carbon atom linked with halogen such carbon atom is sp2 hybridized then this particle of compound is known as what haloene so on the basis of hybridization you can also understand the two types of compounds are well known that is haloalkenes and halogens in haloalkenes the carbon atom is linked with halogen such carbon atom is always sp3 hybrids but in haloenes the carbon atoms linked with halogen such carbon atom always sp2 hybrids only three types of hybridizations are possible in all organic compounds you know very well if four sigma bond means sp3 hybridized three sigma bond sp2 hybridized two sigma bond sp hybridized so only three types of hybridizations are well known for organic compounds our next topic in this lesson is two types of classifications are possible for haloalkenes and haloenes that is classification based 
on the hybridization and the second one classification based on the basis of number of halogen atoms so two types of classification are possible the first one classification based on the hybridization and the second one classification based on the basis of number of halogen atoms if we consider a five types of halides can form on the basis of hybridization so we can write what halides the first one vanadic halides second one aryl halides third one benzenic halides fourth one allylic halides and the last very important alkyl halides so five pattern of halides are available on the basis of hybridization such halides carbon containing sp2 ch4 compounds containing sp2 cx bond and allylic halides and alkyl halides compounds containing sp3 cx bond so all pattern of halides can understand on the basis of hybridization so first we have to discuss vanadic halides aryl halides and benzenic halides after that we will consider how can you identify the given halides are aryl or alkyl halides the most common halides are alkyl halides so our first halide is vanadic halide vanadic halides how can you identify the given halides are vanadic in nature so we can write these are the compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded to an sp2 hybridized 
कार्बन एटम ऑफ कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉल लेट अस कंसीडर एग्जांपल्स सपोज दिस डबल बॉल कार्बन एटम वेन लिंक विद हाइड्रोजन कार्बन हैव गॉट फोर हैंड्स How many sigma bonds are present for this carbon? One, two, three. That's why the hybridization of this carbon atom is what sp two. So when sp two carbon atom directly linked with halogen, and this sp two hybridized carbon atom surrounded with double bond, then such type of halide is known as what vanillic halide. So it is written here what these are the compounds in which Halogen atoms is bonded to an sp2 hybridized carbon atom of carbon-carbon double bond is known as what? Vanillic halides. If you consider other example in ring like this one, again you can say this carbon atom is what? Sp2 hybridized because this carbon atom is surrounded with three. Sigma bonds. Therefore, the hybridization of this atom carbon is what sp2. X is what halogen atom. Line choline, choline, bromine, or you can say iodine. So such halides are called what vanillic halides. <clears throat> Our next halides are aryl halides. You can write what? These are the compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded to. And sp2 hybridized carbon atom of an aromatic ring means what? Suppose if you consider like this one, this is said to be aryl halide. This carbon atom is again sp2. Sp2 carbon atom is directly linked with halogen. This is what an aromatic ring. So when aromatic ring is directly attached with halogen atom, such type of halides are known as what aryl halides. So this is a very interesting example for what aryl halide. If we consider a new example like CS three X, again this carbon atom is sp two hybridized. You can say this is also an example of what aryl halide. So it is written here what these are the compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded to an sp2 hybridized carbon atom of an aromatic ring. This is benzene ring. Benzene ring is said to be what aromatic compounds because satisfied the general properties of aromatic compounds. Or you can say the general characteristic for what. Aromaticity. That's why benzene is called what an aromatic compound. Our next halide is benzylic halides. How can you say the given halides are benzylic in nature? 
so we can write these are the compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded to an sp3 hybridized carbon atom next to an aromatic ring means what suppose if you consider this pattern of molecule here carbon atom is sp3 hybridized so when sp3 hybridized carbon atom is directly linked with what aromatic ring so here written what these are the compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded to sp3 hybridized carbon atom next to an aromatic ring such type of halide is said to be what benzylic halides such pattern of halides may be either 1 degree 2 degree or you can say 3 degree what are degree degree means how many carbon atoms link with other carbon atoms suppose if we consider such pattern of example this is also called benzylic halide why because this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized next to the benzene ring called what benzylic halide here this carbon atom link with one two three carbon atom that's why this benzylic halide is called what tars ring 3 degree and this benzylic halide is said to be what primary 1 degree so 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree benzylic halide you can form our next halides are allylic halides so for allylic halides we can write what these are the compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded to an sp3 hybridized carbon atom next to carbon carbon double bond suppose if we consider such pattern of molecule here this carbon atom is what sp3 hybridized so sp3 hybridized carbon atom link with carbon carbon double bond so this group is said to be allylic group so it is written here what these are the compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded to an sp3 hybridized carbon atom next to the carbon carbon double bond called what allylic halides if we consider new example like this again this carbon atom is sp3 and sp3 hybridized carbon atom next to the carbon carbon double bond present that's called again called what allylic halide our last slide is 
alkyl halides. Very very important. VBI. These are the compounds in which the hydrogen atom is bonded with alkyl group. and carbon atom directly linked with hydrogen must be sp3 hybridized Then such pattern of compounds are called what? Alkyl halides. What is written here? These are the compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded with alkyl group and carbon atom directly linked with halogen must be sp3 hybridized. Suppose if you consider this pattern of molecule, This carbon atom is again sp3 hybridized sp3 hybridized carbon atom directly linked with what? Alkyl group. Then such pattern of alkyl halides are known as what? Haloalkanes. And the pattern of this compound you can say commonly alkyl halides. Three patterns of alkyl halides are well known. That is 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree. So three patterns of alkyl halides you can form. Primary alkyl halide, secondary alkyl halide and tertiary alkyl halide. Primary alkyl halides also known as 1 degree. Secondary alkyl halides also known as 2 degree. And tertiary alkyl halide also known as what? 3D. So several patterns of alkyl halides can form. Let us consider some useful example for alkyl halides. Like All are the example of what? Alkyl halide. Why? Because this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized. Again sp3 hybridized carbon atom. sp3 hybridized carbon atom. Linked with alkyl group. This compound is known as ethyl halide. One degree. Primary alkyl halide because this carbon atom linked with only one carbon atom. This carbon atom linked with other new carbon atoms, that's why this halide is known as what 2 degree. And the name of this halide is called what isopropyl halide 2 degree. This carbon atom is linked with other three new carbon atoms called tertiary 3D and the name of this compound is tertiary butyl halide. So you can say alkyl halides are also divided into three parts 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree. Our last classification is what? Classification 
on the basis of number of halogen atoms classification on the basis of number of halogen atoms so different patterns of compounds can form like mono di or you can say poly halogen compounds depending on whether they contain one two or more halogen atoms in their structure suppose if we consider cs3x if we consider cs2x cs2x if we consider cs2x c hx c hx cs2 so here only one halogen atom is present that's why called what mono halogen compound mono halogen compound this contain two halogen atom that's why called what di halogen compound di hydrogen compound here three halogen atoms are present that's why known as what tri hydrogen compounds you can also form aromatic pattern of compound compound may be either mono halogen di halogen tri halogen tetra halogen or you can say poly halogen compounds so such are the classification of our alkyl halides and aryl halides next lecture we will discuss the isomerism phenomenon present in our alkyl halides and aryl halides thank you